afternoon, YouTube. Very face with you today. Just uh, make another video, kind of in the same stint uh, out here, kind of on a roll, so I figured I'd continue doing some other things. But uh, I thought I'd do one on why radiator guard is so important. Definitely kind of a, uh, a video geared towards the noobs out there that have bought DRZs, or really, truthfully, any other water-cooled dirt bike, I guess. And uh, the idea behind this is I'm going to show you what mistakes I made um, that, uh, and what radiator guards I'm going to put on here, should they fit. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this actually. Uh, it's been a long time and I, I should have put radiator guards a long time ago and, and laziness is a factor with me. So um, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, I have a pair of Deval racing equipment uh, ra uh, radiator guards for my New Year's D400. So, um, yeah, th these are pretty common on Amazon, I think, and, and uh, you can get them anywhere. It doesn't have to be this brand. I've used these before on, on a Buddy's DRZ, and I really enjoyed how easy they were to put on. I didn't uh, have any real problems getting them on or off. So... It, sh it should be, hopefully, pretty simple. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> oh, fuck. Woo! It's okay, I'm just laying down. You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Oh, shit. Oh, kill. Oh, it's like... Going a little mobile here, but uh, we're going to check out uh, the existing damage to my current radiators. So, and when, I'll talk about uh, why I'm not going to replace these. So, see if I can get nice and close and up in here. Well, I don't know if I can make this any better or worse for you guys, but it looks like you can see pretty well. Um, I've dropped this DRZ uh, well a lot, <laughs> to say the least. I've never had radiator guards. So you can see right there that the radiators are kind of collapsed in on this side, uh, which isn't fantastic. The radiators do have a relatively eh, thickish piece of aluminum on here to kind of protect them. Uh, but there's only so much that the, the stock radiator is really going to protect you from. Um, and it is what it is. I'm not going to replace these radiators, especially this one's the worst, because the, the flow of the the inner parts so fluid from the radiator flows through these channels here uh, on the inside and, and then these fins are what dissipate the heat as air comes through pretty simple concept the channels look fine they look like they're not damaged or bent or anything and, and truthfully i've been riding the drz like this for a long time and it, it hasn't had any overheating issues is there cooling capacity probably affected i would say definitely like this is all collapsed and some of these airflow is not going through i might try to separate some of those fins to at least get to where air flows them through flows through them all right we'll see if we can get a better picture there you can see on this side of the radiator it doesn't look nearly as bad so you see what i'm talking about the radiator itself doesn't look like it's been collapsed you know or damaged too badly to where uh, fluid doesn't flow through it so these aren't cheap and I'm not going to use cheap eBay ones, so uh, really, truthfully, until the bike has an overheating problem, I'm probably going to leave these on here. Now, because the radiator's collapsed, collapsed on the front piece and this is bent, I'm going to have to kind of try to bend that back out without damaging the radiator, which I think I can. Um, uh, yeah, I think uh, I think it'll be fine. It's a seeable feature. We'll look at my other side here with the puppy. <laughs> A little bit darker on this side. This side, I obviously drop it a lot more on the right side than I do the left, but there's a little bit of being pushed in and a little bit of bent here. So, um, you know, we'll get that to focus maybe, 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 yeah, a little bit better. Um, so there's a little bit on this, this side, but not nearly as bad. I suspect this one uh, won't have any issues whatsoever. So the importance of that is, is I could have definitely been unlucky and broke this radiator because I didn't have radiator guards and uh, definitely I, I think if I had these guards on there I don't think the radiators would have been bent at all uh, I don't foresee that I hit it so hard that I would have bent the guards as well all right we'll go ahead and uh, get to work 
So these are actually built pretty well. Um, the welds and stuff look decent. Nothing about them really super out of the ordinary. It's just aluminum. The all-knowing directions, hopefully. Remove. So we'll we'll throw this up here so you can read how simple this is. Remove shrouds and louvers. Uh, remove the two bolts that mount the front radiators. Or yeah, place the radiator guard in front of the radiators and line up the slots. Center guard. Use the stock bolts to mount the guards. Tighten to spec. The PVC spacers and the six by two five flag bolts are for spacing out the mounting or for spacing out and mounting the lower shroud mount on both sides. I guess a poking instrument would make this slightly easier. Stay in here, Taylor. Yeah, this one's pretty bent. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to bend it back and hopefully we can get it to work. Yeah, I would say when you're doing this, probably be careful not to punch a hole in the radiator. I could see that happening. Although if I didn't do it, you shouldn't. <laughs> uh... All right, there those, that comes off. All right, I'm gonna get a pair of channel locks and see if I can get these bent out. The idea here will be to bend this back without breaking it. which is uh, surprisingly easy. Okay. Small movements on different sections of the metal will help. If you just grab one part and you yank on it real hard, you might break something. And even doing this, you still might break something. Although, uh, it's a lot better than it was, but I can see that it's collapsed pretty good. So I'll do kind of a dry fit before we start taking bolts off everything. Is, uh, I got a feeling that these may not fit with the way that this radiator is. From what I can tell, I think they're going to mount up just fine because this radiator guard only mounts from here, these two bolt points here. So I think even if you bent the outside, that uh, it really doesn't matter all that much. I mean, unless it's broken and it's not working, then you should probably just replace it anyway. Well, those really weren't on there very tight. Okay, let's get started. So, this side of my bike, kind of already doing a test fit here, is a uh, gas tank is ever so slightly in the way. So I'm just gonna Push it up, uh, push up on a little bit. Hope for great and amazing things. And uh, that's pretty much all my plan is at this point in my life. Except I left my stupid socket on the other side. Do the bottom one first since that's getting kind of hung up I could probably cut these okay got that one started that one fell out that's okay grab that one okay Note to self, they don't really fit completely in there. Luckily I can cheat at this stage in the game. Get that 
in the hole. Pretty much all I want right now. Yeah, really, honestly, lifting the tank, I don't have to move it more than like a quarter of an inch to get this up underneath here. So I didn't see a lot of the reason to cut it. As for the spacer, I still don't understand the, why they wanted a spacer on there. Woo! I swear to God, I'm not really super out of shape as much as this, just hot. And I'm kind of a little bitch for heat, so. Never was a very good Mexican myself. All right, the radiator guard's back on, or back on, they're on, and uh, I'm ready to start slapping some plastic back on this beast. finally finished so we got the new radiator guards on the plastics went on just fine so one thing to note is the plastics do stick out a little bit more you just got the thickness of the the new metal uh, around the old radiator so kind of sticks out a little bit and also another problem and this is a fitment issue with the uh, uh, Clark 3.9 gallon tank um, it, these aren't in quite the same place as they were originally and they Kind of interfere a little bit more with the radiator than I think they normally would have with the, the original gas tank. Of course, the original gas tank didn't go out that far, so yeah. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a thing, but it, it definitely works just fine. I just had to like do a little bit of flexing here and there, and I don't think that's a big deal at all. And uh, well, guys, thanks for joining me on this and checking out the, the radiator situation. Y'all have a good night. Dirt face out.